All right, now here's the second part, okay? Second part of this standard, and it's using the greatest common factor to apply in the distributive property to express the sum of two whole numbers. So what does that mean? Well, here we go. In the standard, this is the example they give, okay? So this is your distributive property. You're gonna distribute it, kind of break it up into pieces. The original express the sum. Remember, the sum is the answer of an addition problem. So 36 plus eight, you know, that's gonna give us 44. But as we were looking at the greatest common factor earlier, so here's our two numbers. We have 36 and we have eight. Factors of 36 is one times 36, two times 18, three times 12, four times nine, and then six times six. Now, if we look at eight, the greatest common factor, or the factors of eight before we get the greatest common factor, one times eight, two times four. Okay, so if we made the list of all these, one, two, three, four, six, nine, 12, 18, 36. And we made a list over here of one, two, four, and eight. What is the largest number that both of them have? So they both have one. You know, they both have two. They don't both have three. So I'm gonna mark that one out. They both have four and they, they both don't have six or eight. So those get canceled out. So the greatest common factor is four. That's where this four comes into play. Okay, so they put the greatest common factor on the outside of the parentheses. So how did they get the nine? Well, four times what equals 36? Nine, or you could have said 36 divided by four. That's where they get the nine from. Okay. And then they divided the eight by four, or four times what, because looking at the factors, four times what equals eight, two. That's where they get the two from. Okay, so order of operation tells us what? Well, we do the parentheses first. So what's nine plus two? Nine, 10, 11. Now remember, if a number is on the outside of the parentheses and there's no operation sign anywhere in here, that's telling you to multiply that. So that is four times 11, which gives you 44. So 36 plus eight is 44, four times 11 is 44. So that's how they expect you to use the greatest common factor and distributive property. You know, that's how you can break up and express the sum of two numbers using the distributive property. Okay, so let's let's try another one here. Sorry, the phone died earlier, so I'm just gonna start back and we're gonna start with these numbers here and we're gonna find the factors just to make sure you understand that's a zero and not a, a 66. So we have 60 plus 24. We're gonna find the factors of both of those numbers. So we're gonna find the numbers that multiply to get 60. So you have one times 60, two times 30, three times 20, four times 15, five times 12, six times 10. Okay, so all these are factors of 60. Okay, so we're gonna find the factors of 24. One times 24, two times 12, three times eight, six times four, should have put it backwards. I'll go ahead and do that because I always put the lower number first. Four times six, and then you continue to go back around. So if I made the list, which I'm actually, you may even like to do it this way better. So all those numbers are factors. Okay, so we're gonna look at the ones and compare them. So one's obviously, now you got two, that one works. Three, four, five does not work. Six. That works. Is there an eight on both? Nope. Is there a 10? Nope. How about a 12? Okay, we got 12 on both. 
We don't have a 24. Don't have a 15, 20. Okay, so our largest or our greatest common factor is 12. Okay, so remember, we're going to put the greatest common factor on the outside of the parentheses, which is 12. Now, 12 multiplies what to get 60? Well, if I didn't mark it out, it would be 5. So the 5 goes right there. Don't forget the plus sign. Now, what does 12 multiply with to get your 24? Well, it's a 2. Okay. So now, as a distributive property, you would have 12 on the outside of the parentheses and then 5 plus 2 on the inside. So if we added these two together, 60 plus 24 would give us 84. Now, if we did order of operations, this would be 7. And remember, if the, the number is on the outside of the parentheses and there's nothing, there's no operation sign right there, we're just multiplying. So 12 times 7 is 84. Now, as you get to the higher levels and you see the, this first, they'll teach you how to multiply and go backwards. And you would end up with this right here. So 12 times 5 is 60 plus 12 times 2 is 24. The same thing as what we started with. That's just teaching you how to go backwards. So that is how you find you use the greatest common factor to break apart two whole numbers, the sum of two whole numbers, into a distributive property. So I hope this was helpful. Um, you'll see this as soon as you get to sixth grade, using the greatest common factor and turning it and using it with a distributive property. So I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, just ask. I hope you all have an outstanding day.